Hi, my name is Chris. I'm from Reviews and Stuff, and in this video I'd like to talk to you about something that I experienced recently at uh, at my store. I tried to unlock an iPhone 3GS with a factory unlock. Since I do that at my store, uh, I charge the customer. I did unlock it once I got the approval from the unlock uh, program. Uh, I decided to upgrade this phone. This 3GS was actually unlocked before. Uh, it, through a jailbreak through Cydia. It was on iPad baseband. It was on 4.2.1 and uh, I didn't know I couldn't upgrade that to the newest um, the, the, the newest firmware basically. Uh, I, I thought the problem would have came out a lot differently because I know the iPad baseband can't be uh, fixed by iTunes so I thought hey maybe I just won't get service and maybe I could you know fix it from then. But actually what the iPhone does now is <clears throat> upon uh, activating the phone when you first get the phone working when it says welcome to the iPhone and where it activates the phone uh, the same place where you get the error that says no sim card it said that it couldn't activate at this time to please contact the uh, customer care if you can't do it at all so um, same same problem came up with iTunes I spent some time looking up uh, the problem l looking up the solution to that and I couldn't find anything. People said that that's because the phone was hacked and you tried to update it. And um, <clears throat> I thought, last resort, just get out of that screen. You know, just um, try to get past that. And uh, I thought the solution would be to hacktivate the phone, meaning activate it, go past that screen without actually having to uh, have to contact the servers. But that didn't work. I kept getting issues. I kept getting the uh, the 1600 issue, which I did fix. I put it into a uh, Pwn DFU mode. I tried um, playing around with the host file. Um, <clears throat> and uh, keep in mind, this was all at work. And we are using uh, a fake cable. Not a fake cable, just a, not the original Apple Data cable. Um, like you see here, this is the older cable, but it is an original. So... I tried the, the uh, different things. I looked up some videos. People said to uh, to hack the Vader, you connect it to Red Snow. I'm just uh, assuming you know all this. Um, what Red Snow is, what <clears throat> Ultra Snow is, what iReb is, what Pwn DFU. Because like me, you probably went through all this as well. So what you have to do at this point, if you update it to 6.0, 6.0.1, 6.0.2, .6 whatever is coming out next, what you have to do is look at the general picture of getting rid of that iPad baseband. So if you do get problems, what I did, the uh, most successful way, was I plugged it in with an official cable to the fastest USB port that I have. And um, I decided to restore it. Nothing worked when I restored it. Nothing worked when I tried to uh, restore it onto a custom firmware. So what I did was I basically tried to connect it to Red Snow because I realized there was an option to downgrade from the iPad baseband. Now what I had to do is connect the, the, the phone to Red Snow and um, search up every error that I got. I did fix up my host file. I did add that 74, that, that IP address with the gs.apple.com to that file. So that is what my computer looks like. So what you want to do is plug it into Red Snow and um, downgrade your iPad baseband and then you'll actually have a working phone as you can see right there I have no service right now because the SIM card's not inside but it's activated the phone is activated on the newest firmware it is fully unlocked so if you get that message the uh, the message that says we're sorry I'll, I'll put it in the description the uh, we're sorry we couldn't activate your phone at this time um, People say, you know, it's because your phone was hacked, they can't help you. But that's exactly what you have to do to fix that problem. So, um, <clears throat> I'll put the steps in the description because I don't want to get into all this. I know for some people, reading the steps will be a lot faster. I'll put in the links in the description. And um, if I did help you like this video, uh, subscribe to me because I always share something that I fix on my own. Uh, subscribe to my channel comment down below if, if I did help you and like this video share if you can so thanks for watching um, I hope you have a great day see ya